We are now taking orders for the mascot glitch on current gen PlayStation only. If you want us to do this for you, join the Perkulees Discord or hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. All those links will be in the description down below. Make sure you are Cash App or PayPal ready. In this video, I'll be showing you guys this tendencies glitch that you can do on both current and next gen. A tendency is something that makes your player do a certain attribute better. For example, if you want your player to play better defense, get more blocks and steals, you'd want defensive tendos for offense. If you wanted your player to dunk more, or shoot more consistent or get the ball stolen less. Of course, you'd want offensive tendos, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do this on both current and next gen. Drop a like, drop a sub, turn on notifications, and let's get right into the video. All right, so look, man, starting off with current gen first, to actually check your tendos, what you guys wanna do, load your play into the neighborhood, press start, and then you wanna go over to play next game, and then you wanna go down to player stats. Once you guys get to player sets, select on your player and then go uh, scroll all the way over until you see attributes. And then if you scroll down, you can see your offensive consistency. And then you can also see your defensive consistency as well. This will go up as you upgrade your player. However, if you make an offensive build, you're going to have less defensive tendos, if that makes sense, and vice versa. So since this is an offensive build, I'm going to show you guys how you can glitch defensive tendos on this build, which will allow me to get more steals, play better defense, more blocks, and all that. So yeah, man. What you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and make a brand new player that you want to get the tendos from. So look, man, I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I'm gonna make a brand new player. Since I have an offensive build, I'm gonna glitch on defensive tendos. So I would recommend that you guys put the wingspan and you can kind of up, uh, up the height as well, but you kind of want to have the max wingspan possible just so you get the most defensive stats. So what you'd want to do is you would want to upgrade all of your player's defensive stats. We're only using this build for this tendo glitch. After we make this build, you can literally delete it or whatever. But what you want to do for the defensive tendos is you want to upgrade all of your defensive attributes. And then after you guys do that, you can, you know, upgrade the other attributes as well. But the main thing we want to touch is the defensive category for the defensive tendos. So after you guys make your player, you can choose any takeover, it doesn't really matter. And then you want to go ahead and make your build. You see it comes out as a two-way playmaker. This build is definitely going to have defensive tendos because we have max defensive attributes. So listen bro, what you guys want to do is you want to hit start my career and then you want to go directly into the NBA. Pick any college team and this is where the glitch actually starts. So look man, make sure you guys are paying attention right here. What you guys want to do is you want to pick any NBA team. As soon as you pick your team, you want to disconnect your console from the internet. So you have two options to do that. If you have an ethernet cord plugged up to your console, pick your NBA team and then unplug the ethernet cord. If you're uh, using a wireless connection, this works the same way whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation. If you go into your settings, you can disconnect from the internet that way as well. So here's what you want to do. Go ahead and pick your team. As soon as you pick your team, go ahead and go over to your settings. Once you guys get to your settings, you then want to go ahead and go over to network settings and then you just want to hit go offline. As soon as you go offline, wait a few seconds, it doesn't really matter, and then you can go ahead and immediately hit go online, and then you can go ahead and reload the game back up. Once you guys reload the game back up, you should see that message that pops up that tells you your console is not connected to the internet like you're saying right here, and then you can go ahead and hit OK. Now once you guys get back to this screen right here, what you want to do is make sure you load up the player that you want to get the tendos on. So I'm going to go ahead and load up my offensive player that I want the defensive tendencies on, and you just want to go ahead and load that player into the neighborhood. Now once you guys load that player into the neighborhood, your tendos are now glitched. 
if you go over to your play next game and then you can hit uh, player stats and then select on your player and then scroll over until you get to your attributes if you scroll all the way down you should notice that your defensive Nintendo's have went up, which is going to be under your defensive consistency. You should notice that your defensive uh, Tendo's inconsistency has went up, and also your offensive Tendo should remain the same as well. So yeah, man, this is basically how you glitch Tendo's on a offensive build, which gives you better defense overall. All right, so look, man, moving on to next gen. This is going to be a two-way playmaker with defensive uh, tendos. This time, I'm going to show you guys how you can get offensive tendos on a defensive build. So for next gen, to actually see your tendos, you want to go over to marker and then you want to select on stats. Once you guys get over to stats, you want to scroll all the way over to player stats, select on your player, select in on the right stick, and then scroll all the way over until you see your attributes. Once you guys get to your attributes, you guys can scroll all the way down. You can see that my offensive tendos on this build is pretty low. However, if I go all the way down to my defensive consistency tendos, you can see my defensive ratings are high because this is a two-way playmaker with max defense. So yeah, man, once you guys have loaded the player that you wanna glitch the tendos on into the city, you then wanna go ahead and back out and make a brand new player. Now look man, once you guys make your brand new player, you can put the position at whatever you'd like and then the wingspan, all that doesn't really matter, but it really depends on what type of tendos you want for your offense. If you want better finishing, of course you'd want to upgrade your finishing, but for a two-way playmaker, we want to be able to shoot more consistent because this, this build does have a lower three-point rating. So here's what I would do, I would put the wingspan all the way down. So we get the highest three point rating possible and then you can go ahead and hit continue from here what you'd want to do is just max out your shooting because we want shooting tendos so max out your shooting and then for the rest you can literally upgrade whatever you would like So you guys can basically see that we upgraded our finishing and shooting so we get the best tendos possible for this build and then you want to go ahead and hit continue choose any takeover it doesn't really matter and then you want to hit continue once again it's going to tell you the the build is complete you want to go ahead and hit yes so look man as soon as you guys see the name pop up you then want to go ahead and hit start my career you guys can see that this build comes out as a three level score and then you want to go ahead and hit choose team once you guys choose your team you want to make sure that you disconnect your console from the internet so like i said you have two options to, options to do this if you have an ethernet cord plugged up to your console choose your nba team and then unplug your ethernet cord and then plug it back or if you're using a wireless connection just disconnect your console from the internet from the settings tab this will work the same way whether you're on xbox or playstation so what you want to do is choose any team that doesn't really matter as soon as you pick your team go ahead and go over to your settings and then you just want to disconnect your console from the internet so go to network settings you want to hit go offline and then wait a few seconds it doesn't really matter and then you can hit go online as soon as that happens you're going to go ahead and reload the game back up as soon as you reload the game back up you should see this message right here you can go ahead and hit ok and then once the game reloads back up you want to go ahead and load up the player that you want to glitch the tendencies onto so i'm going to go ahead reload my two-way playmaker because i want the offensive tendencies on this build and then you want to load this player into the city now once you guys load this player into the city the glitch is now complete if you press start and then you can go over to my career select on your stats and then go ahead and go over to player stats select on your player 
select in on the right stick and scroll over to your attributes. If you go down to your offensive consistency where your tendos are at, you should notice that these do go up. And then if you scroll down to your defensive consistency, they will remain the same as well. So yeah, man, that's how you do this Tendo glitch on both Xbox and PlayStation for current and next gen. Drop a like, man. Drop a sub. Turn on notifications. We out. Peace.